Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Inscription Casey's Mod. We're on challenge level four, so we need 40 challenge points built up here. I'm thinking we're going to have to try out the new one, which is all regular battles have been replaced with totem battles. I feel like it probably just makes sense to go ahead and grab the boss battles have that as well. And then, you know what, let's get Trapper's Pelts cost more, because I don't know how much I really care about that in the first place here. Truly, truly, truly. Okay, Stoat, Bullfrog, yep, we got our... The gang's all here. What do we want to do? I guess we'll figure that out after we get this. Like, there could be a Ringworm here that would kind of change up what kind of a deck we might be going for, you know? There's a Grizzly, there's an Adder, there's... Ad Adder actually, um, works the same as... Ooh, that could be good. Adder works the same as the, um, the Ringworm, I think. The Warren buff is really good. <laughs> the Warren buff is really, really good. Uh, Corpse Eater seems like a lot of fun. If a creature you own perishes by combat, a creature bearing the sigil is automatically played in its place... That could allow us... In fact, like... You know what? Let's let's try something new. Let's try and get that buff on the Grizzly. Right? Seems like it might be a... Uh, and by that, I mean we've got that... We got that buff on the Grizzly. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was very tough. Because the thing is... A Grizzly that costs three that we don't have to summon, theoretically. That just auto-summons itself. Seems like a really good place to start, does it not? I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, maybe this won't work as well as I think, but... Seems good, man. Alright. Definitely think we just... You know what, let's drop down the stoat. You can do it, buddy! Again, it's so strange that he's just a... Uh... It's so strange that he's a 2-1 like that. Or a 1-1. One, 1-2? One, one, <laughs> we'll get there eventually. All right, here's the thing. Um, we want him to die. Because now we have a grizzly. Oh, he buffed up the tree. <laughs> the tree attacked me. Wait a minute. That don't make no sense. Uh, whoops. All right, I think we're off to a really good start. A, a bear, a grizzly that just summons itself for free is, uh, is a very good start. If you ask me. Body... We're going to need a lot of money, so we're going to need to focus extra on overkills uh, if we want to get anything from the trapper. We have an immediate sacrifice after this, so let's think. God, I guess I don't know what... Let's see the options, and we'll work from there. Oops. Dam Builder. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a dam is created on each adjacent space. Zero power, two health. We could put that on our frog, I guess. Like, that's a good way to just block everything, I guess. I don't know. We've also... We've never played around with it. I mean, we can't sacrifice the dams. I'm pretty confident. Uh, fledgling. I think the wolf might have a special upgrade. I'm not sure. I, I'm leaning towards beaver and sacrificing the beaver's upgrade and slapping it on, like, the bullfrog just so we have a, a good turn one play. That helps stall out so we can maybe eventually get Grizzly for free. Because I would think that if the dam breaks, it also counts. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Just, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Then I guess up here we'll go for... I, I, like, I don't know why we would go for... I don't know. Going for the uh, the kin one instead just doesn't feel like it's usually that good of an idea. Two pronged attack. Bullfrog's got two HP. See, like this seems it's very weird. I mean, like, but look at that. That's a that's a lot of action here. That it fully gets to break for us. We have our grizzly, and now we just kind of stall, right? what happens this tax 
We might end up taking one damage here, but then we get our Grizzly. Oh, we actually... Okay, so the Grizzly comes in right away. That's actually awesome. All right, there's nothing we can do. You have me here, I surrender. You're darn right I have you here, but... I am going to wait because I can get more value this way. Uh, guess we'll drop down the squirrel for now. Okay. God, this is strange. I'm trying to think how do we how do we win harder. I think that we just have to stall this out again. Okay. All right. And then I, I guess since we can't sacrifice any of the... Uh, we can't sacrifice, like, the dams, you know? I guess we sacrifice the stoat here. I don't know. I don't know how much I like the dams. I don't know. If there's more enemies on the field, it'll be more beneficial. But I, I actually don't love it. It does help us guarantee that we get to stall things out. Um, extra summons. Let's get the adder. Go for the, uh, try and do the cheese here. Worse comes the worse. If he is a, if he turns into a one, a one six with, where, wait, a one five with poison. That's also fine. Okay. All right. Now I don't know. I, I'll probably actually keep him. Maybe I'll try and find Spiky. could try and find spiky and put it on him he'd be kind of broken a one five with poison touch is just that's just very good i don't know what to say man come down he's gonna block both we have the bullfrog we could uh do the same deal i don't know if i want to do the exact same deal though i kind of want to do it more like this knowing full well i'm not getting like the full kind of value out of it. Okay. We have the adder. Perishes by combat. See, here's the thing. This is not inherently bad. This uh, stalling. Because we get... Look at all of the stuff we are getting in our hand. That That's not... That is not bad. So, oops. Didn't mean to. I know I can't play the Grizzly, okay? So this attacks that, that attacks that. This hits over here. Got our Grizzly down, which is really what we've been waiting for. We attack this. This The dam stays alive. I mean, we're fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with this. It's just kind of slow. That's really it. It's very, like, very safe, though. Aggressively safe. All right, Spiky would be a dream. Uh, second Grizzly is not stupid for merging purposes. What are the odds that I'm going to get Spiky? There's one unit that has Spiky. It's the Mr. Pork Cuban. I'll take the Grizzly for, um, a good, like, sacrifice... Uh, a good sacrifice target. B. Uh, we can merge him at the... The Mergy Boys in the future. I don't, I don't know. I guess we... Do we have to do it? We have... Wait, do we have to do something? Oh! Oh! Interesting. I I guess I've never been here in a situation where I've never wanted to sacrifice anything. Well, I guess we have to sacrifice that. The question is, is, what do we put it on? We could put it on the... It feels stupid to put it on the grizzly. It feels stupid to put it on the wolf. I don't really care about putting it on the stoat, but we could put it on the stoat and try and feed him to the fire. And if he fails, if he die, like it's eaten, then he will at least poison them and we have infinite sacrifices later. And the better case scenario is that 
he turns into the adder at 1-5 anyways. So I don't like this. This is this is a bummer. This is a bummer. I do not like this. I, I've never actually had to uh, do a sacrifice when I didn't want to before. So I've, for some reason I thought you could run away, but no, this is not the kind of game where you can. So R.I.P. Um, are, are actually awesome adder. Oh no. This is weird. Underwater coyote. Okay, well, the thing is... Here's the thing. I'll take... I'll take two damage. Or do I want to get the stout so we can sit, just get our grizzly down? I don't really know if I want to get the grizzly down because then he's dead. Let's let's do this so we can get the pack mule next turn. Ah, this this is awkward. This is highly awkward. We just wait one more turn here and hope that the stuff we get from this is okay okay we've got some cool stuff we got some cool stuff to work with the uh the goat particularly is uh is very useful oh draw a card i forgot because we have so freaking many man all right let's put down um Mr. Mr. Regular Grizzly. Okay. Well, we, we do win here. We have one empty. I don't remember what this is. Is this our wolf? I think this is our, our regular wolf. I guess, sure. I don't want to fill up that spot. I don't want more... Uh, more rocks than we already have to deal with. There's gold in them cards. Oh, that's right. I forgot that that works so well. Oh, my God. You're, you got to be kidding me. Also, this didn't get removed. I mean, it doesn't matter. We do actually just straight up win here. Like, there's nothing to it. It's just, it's just a win. So neat. But stop, draw a card. I mean, I understand. Oh, it's the bullfrog. That's right. All right, this is the most overflow that I think we can generate. We could have stalled, but I don't really want to, I don't really want to mess with that right now. Don't really want to mess with that right now. Uh, the underwater was not actually that big of a deal. It could it could have been. It's the, it's a gambit, you know. Uroboros. This is pretty early for Uroboros. Uh, sure. Pretty early for him. We could take his upgrade and put it on somebody else, I guess. We have a fire. We do have a fire. I, I I don't know. I'm a little confused about what to do here. Moving forward. Uh, okay, so we have upgrades. We have Uroboros. We could put on somebody else. I don't really like these that much. Moose Buck is all right. Kind of expensive. Okay. Black Goat. All right. Yeah, here's the deal. Either either the stoat is a 1-6 with poison or it gets eaten. All right, that's a it's a good card. It's a good card. A 1-6 with poison is is good. You only need one damage if you have poison, unless they have stinky. I guess two two is maybe the idealish idealist amount, but still. Ah, 
Ah! I hate that. Uh, so we have to grizzly it up. Smack. Two overhead. This is not going to be able to do anything to me. We will kill this one, though. That is something. Uh, and then we... Ah, this is also weird. A little awkward, a little awkward. The mole is going to move over. Oh my god, the tail with the with the mole hold up. That's actually really annoying. Uh we'll take We'll just take two. No, we'll take four. This this is this was uh This was annoying. That being said, we are now fine. As we do four. I mean we both do four. Okay. That's the uh that's the annoyance, but That's what it's all about. Uh, what do we have for the scale? We're like one. We're one away from death. So if we do eight, or we could do four. This gives us more overkill. Oh god! Might have janked it. No, I didn't. Okay, we're fine. Ah, uh, <laughs> it was awkward, but hey, we're fine. Okay, this is more again. So we overflow that a little bit. This is not that big of a deal. We do a good old like seven or so. doing this so if we do if we go for it we'll be we'll get an overflow of two if we sacrifice the grizzly and we did four we get up one away yeah we actually get a lot more if we do this ah. i'd rather get the uh, colossal amount of overflow Alright, good deal. Do we want to combine for the Grizzly? Yeah, yeah, because he's free to play. Like, He's free to play. I will take another black coat, though. Wait, do we get a pick? Do we get a pick? Do we get a pick? Alright. I'm only doing it because I, I do kind of want another three cost, though. But an 8-12 that we don't have to play, like, that we don't have to do any sacrifices for is a little hilarious to me. We obviously have to draw a lot, though. And we're not doing a lot of card removal, which is why I'm really trying to focus on the, the old duplicates. Okay, uh... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Test here. Does the damn count as a sacrifice? I don't remember. I don't know. Alright, well, doesn't matter. This looks like a problem. And it kind of is a problem, but not really. 
We're not really utilizing Ouroboros. I don't, I don't, I don't want to gambit it. I don't want to mess with it. Don't. We're, we're, we're gonna get some overflow already, just because he already does so much damage. Okay, pick. Ideally, pick a dupe. Warren, tempting. Magpie actually is a better idea. That lets me draw and force the grizzly into my hand. Grizzly is not part of anything. We have... I mean, the goats. I don't really care. We have two lizards, but I... There's a real chance that I sacrifice my Ouroboros onto a black goat. So... This is not really that exciting. I don't know. We might be able to do. We might be able to do something stupid with uh, giving the goats an extra sigil. Um, there's the combine. More importantly, there's this into a double. We'll, we'll get a three. We're gonna get a three cost from there. Stinky. Stinky could cause us some weird problems. Some awkward problems. All right. Uh, this is actually perfectly fine. Uh oh, stinky. Okay. See, that's what I'm talking about. Now, now he's a zero cost. That's what I was saying. That's a, it's a quasi problemo. Poor overflow is enough. It's enough. <laughs> like, let's not get too too stupidly greedy. Let's go. Oh my god. We could merge we can merge a third grizzly. <laughs> Wait, okay. Hold on. Let's do that. And then at this one, we'll do... I think we're going to sacrifice Ouroboros. It's too late at this point. It's too late. For it to become a card that matters in our deck, it's going to be... It's going to be a lot of work. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of work. If you have two cards that have sigils and then you mutate them together, does that... Can you get an overflow amount of symbols that way? Trapper. I, uh, I'm a little worried about this because it just has the potential to go, to go wrong. Oh, black goat though. I kind of want a pelt. Black Goat would force the Grizzly to pelt itself, though, which is kind of awkward. So I think we just Grizzly down the middle and deal. And then we grab the one in the middle. I think we I think we literally just cheese it. I think we cheese it. Um... And we save our we save everything in our hand to figure out what we're gonna do afterwards. If there's no um, attack dog, I can't remember what is it called guard. Then we do we just win. If there's no guard in the front row. Okay, there's no guard. Not in the front row. Easy win.
I'm just looking around because I feel like there's a possibility I've janked something, but I don't know. Flying skunk with zero is kind of funny. A, like this is the easiest fight in the boss fight in the entire game if you have a way to get a five damage unit down on turn one it's just you literally you if you have a way to get a five damage unit down on turn one you win this fight this boss fight it's like it's hilariously easy in that event oh god i really i can't wait to unlock more rare cards because i am definitely this is the area that i'm noticing the most um like repeat vibes Infinitely sacrificable. Hmm. Tempted to go for strange larva and buff it up. Pack rats tempting because we could. Well, no, if we ever like, we have three items right now that we're not using, so we're probably gonna end up getting a pack rat, and we could merge it. I guess. Child thirteen is just a very good card. It's easy to use. If your other stuff is strong. I'm going to do it. It's Child 13 is the closest, one of the closest cards you can get to, uh, like, a, a free card on the board. Not, not really. Like, I mean, because here's the thing. You really, what about Gek? Okay, I do know how to do that uh, now. What are we doing? Okay, so we could get the merge. We could get merge, or uh, the, the shrine. So we could take any of these symbols. Poison doesn't actually do us that much good right now. In fact, poison actually uh, kind of sucks for us right now. Bell ringer, I think it's like... um. How far it is from the bell. It's either how close it is or how far it is from the bell. I can't really one of the two. Yeah, I don't really care about any of these for what we have right now. Stinky. I actually like the idea of maybe putting Stinky on Child 13, I guess. Stinky Child. Uh, do we want to... We could try and feed the stoat again, but it's like... It's, I don't know. It's a guaranteed sacrifice. Uh, like, I don't really care about the having the skunk. At this point, yeah, sure. This is a guaranteed sacrifice, you know what I'm saying? Guarantee. We can't, yeah, I don't really care about putting infinity, inf, infinisac on any of those. So let's make a stinky child so that people are less likely to be able to take him out. I can put him in front of a one, a one zero or a one whatever, and it's we just don't have to worry about that lane anymore. Ugh. This has, oh god. I'm so glad we have our free win. That's what I will say. Does a... It says creature, right? A dam isn't a creature, right? Like, it just can't... It just... That wouldn't make... I mean, it wouldn't make sense. Alright. Well, we should be fine here. This is... Oh, God! This is gross, though.
I'm so glad they have nowhere to move with their tails. Otherwise, we would have uh, we would have got bodied there. Okay. Oh God. I've really done it now. What did I put the uh, magpie buff on? The black goat, I just haven't been drawing it. We have a lot of ability to uh, summon three costs at this point via goats. Absolutely. Either we have a 5-2 wolf or we don't have this card in our deck. Great. That's fine. That's a that's an OTK. That's an OTK card now at 5 damage since we don't have the extra buff on. So we take that. We take that and, and smile. I'll oh, screw you, though. This is all. This, that's... Ah... God, I'm so glad we have two candles, because uh, we might just, like, lose this. Stinky child. Stinky child. All right, so now this can't do damage to me. We could... Sacrifice the black goat for the stoat. And then sacrifice the child to put the goat back down. But I think this is just the better way to go for now. Hopefully we draw something... Oh. Oh, God. Hey, that works. Oh, that really, that really works. Okay. Can we do that? We can. That gives us an extra one damage. Huh. See that upgrade on the that upgrade on the wolf. That was, that was, that's what I'm telling you. Either we have him so he can do the job that the, we wanted the bear to do, or we wouldn't have drawn him and there was a higher chance that we would draw the bear. Those are the two scenarios that we had before us. Do we want to win this? If we want to win this, we probably go... We have a lot of one, cut, one HPs. We go for sigils, for sure. <sighs> Do I want to win it? Fine. They, they have buffs, and we get a pick between the three, so let's say yeah. Oh, I mean, we, we got it on the black goat. Oh, a possum... Looking kind of fresh. Stinky flying ant. I'm excited to see that card. I'm happy. But yeah, a possum with that buff is is way way better. Uh what can we sacrifice? We, we actually don't have anything we can sacrifice. We could have sacrificed a moose buck. Hefty. But hefty's not really like good <laughs> to sacrifice. Let's go uh let's go up here. Like, Hefty's not a buff. Like, it's like a net neutral. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I think this is actually a little... It is a little bork. Yeah, sure. Every time our, uh, our elk or our, our infinite life goat gets struck now, we, um... We get a B, which is just another thing to sacrifice. We have so much ability to sacrifice now. Stinky birds. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Do we want to...
No. I was thinking of sacrificing for the frog so we could get our big boy down. But I think we'll be fine. Okay, we win if we want. The question is if I want to super win. If I, if I can find a way to super win. I don't think that there's any trappers on our entire pathway, though, now that I think about it. I'm pretty sure there's not. Surprise bear! Surprise bear of your nightmares, man. God. I want to just merge. I want to merge the other bear in. Not because I need it at this point, but because it'd be funny. It'd be funny. Uh, what do we want to sacrifice? We could maybe... At this point, we could go send the grizzly to the buff thing and see what happens there. We could go here. I definitely don't need two totems. Like, I think I'm pretty satisfied with that. I don't need any items. I literally have three items and I've never used one this entire this entire game so far because I've been broken from the get-go. Uh, so I guess we go here, which is kind of awkward, though, because I don't think I really want any of this. I'll take an elk thing. Moose buck? Sure. Whatever, man. Still a little too many moose bucks for me, though. I would love to merge them. Maybe we can get the chance to. But I don't want to... I'm going to send in the... Uh... At this point, yeah, I think I send in the regular grizzly. He either, again, can OTK for us, or... We get rid of him, which is also fine. I could... I could keep him here. I would rather... Yeah, I think that... Having him out of my deck is better for me. Well, eh, no, probably, probably not. No, I don't. That one was. I'm not. I was on the fence about that. But we have the merge thing coming up. Oh, that's right. We do have to take one. We don't have to take it though. Okay. It could be in our best interest to have it be the other way, but still. Oh, well. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. Give me an OTK, OTK, OTK. One turn kill, one turn kill. I've got, I've got like five of them in my deck now. Come on. Moose Buck is not it. Grizzly is it. Okay. Phase two! Phase two! If he puts... Yeah, he's gonna put that in front. That's not that big of a deal. See, this is a situation where Moosebuck actually would have been good. Slightly more overkill this way. Thank you, Grizzly. Nightmare Bear. Fear the Nightmare Bear. <laughs> oh, the fact that we can play him without a cost, too, is just so funny. Child 13? I guess I wouldn't hate a second Child 13. Go for a nice pair of twins. All right, is there a merge? There is no, uh, there's no, okay. I never went to a trapper. I never found a trapper. Don't want any of that. Uh, it's basically item or merge. What would I, what would I do? I could put infinite sacrifice on the, uh, possum.
or I could get an item. It's basically, do I want to remove a card from my deck? Or do I want an item? I would rather have the consistency here. I would rather have the consistency of drawing what I want. Is there a world where I can moose buck? I guess I could put the moose buck onto that. I guess that actually, that's probably better. That's better. Is it? Remo removing the moose buck? Yeah, because I don't... Eh. So I don't really want to. I don't want the moose buck right now. I don't want the moose buck. I don't want that buff on the wolf. But I, m the reason I'm doing that is because I, one moose buck in my deck is I don't really like it that much. Two moose bucks, terrible for me. <laughs> Just really bad right now. All right, we do have items still. Bifurcated strike, you dirty boy, you dirty boy. And he always starts with mole man. That's what I'm telling you, man. Okay. We are fine. Okay. We do, we, we do win. Like, let me just think here. ideal. It's a little goofed. For sure. But we uh, we win now. And I think we win the whole dang thing. Pretty sure. Stinky child. My stinky child. Yeah, perfect. This phase has the potential to throw in wrench and things, I guess. Yeah, the placement of the stumps is a little awkward, but it actually doesn't matter at all. Uh, we insta-kill this. That guy comes down and is a little annoying because it's Guardian. But I don't really care about Guardian. It's not the uh, not big deal. Wolf actually solves that issue too, so... Stinky child. Oh, you have the one extra HP. Never mind. Oh. Wait a minute. That's not fair. Wait a minute. Fine. Okay. Oh, this. Oh, this is funny. Wait a minute. Let's do it. <laughs> oh no! You got it. This is. That's a little annoying, I guess. Um, man. You're a trash boy, aren't you?
I didn't think he gold nuggeted all of them. I don't really see a situation where that's not the play here. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got it. I think we just beat the moon because he doesn't actually do damage to me if unless it, I don't have anything on my field. At least that's what I was told. It better be true. Okay. All right, we're fine. Now we we literally can't lose this. I mean, why well, we could, but like I'm literally not going to. Can't stinky the moon no more, unfortunately. Three bees. This is stupid. <laughs> it's so dumb. We actually. We actually might actually lose. For real. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I think we have. I think we have far too many. Um, far too many bees. We're gonna get. We just need to not sacrifice our bees. They're they're too important to us right now. Well, now this is kind of awkward. That. Eh. I. No, the math doesn't check out. I think we actually lose. That, that he killed everything with that uh, that one move of his. He did. He undid everything. That's so annoying. Ah, uh, that one, the fact that thing had one extra HP. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay. I don't know, maybe, I can't, wait, does the math, does the math check out? The math doesn't check out, does it? One, two, uh, wait. God, I don't, I don't want to do the math. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the math. I'm gonna live, I'm gonna live in a state of fear. I don't think we have it, though. I feel like we just barely don't have it. You piece of trash. Wait, the frog? Might actually give us enough? Oh my God. We're out of cards. Do we, what happens when we're out of cards? Ah! 
I hate this. We're going to be off by like one, aren't we? One damage. Boom. One. How would we play the bullfrog if we don't sacrifice the black goat? With the bee, we get next turn. But then if we sacrifice the bee next turn, why wouldn't we just play the bullfrog now? Because we'll get the black goat. Screw this. He really, he really just uh, gold smacked all three. I thought he just gold smacked one. I thought he just gold smacked one during this phase. I didn't think he did the whole kit and caboodle. Let's think. Like, I'm not screwed over by the moon phase. I'm screwed over by the phase before it. I'm trying, I'm trying to, I don't know. There's an answer here, I think. No, I don't think there is. So we're gonna do one, you're gonna go down to three. I, I, I'm trying to figure this out. Do we get an extra beat? We don't get an extra beat, we get an extra beat. We are gonna be one shy, aren't we? Unless my bullfrog has more health than I remember, nope. So B attacks, goes down to three. Attacks this, we get a B. We can't summon the bullfrog without the B. If we could summon the bullfrog without the B, we get the go black goat back, but we can't play the black goat without the B. We don't get another B unless the black goat gets struck. We can't get an extra B unless, the, unless we don't sacrifice the black goat. So I'm just trying to think here. We sacrifice the bee for the bullfrog. We attack with one. We do one damage right now. We get the, the goat dies. We play the bee. Next turn, we do two damage. The son of a gun lives at one HP. Like, that's what happens. The, the, we lose by one HP right now. Is really... Every scenario that I'm picturing right now, we lose by one health. And that is making me mad. Uh... Because we get the black goat back, but we can't play the black goat. Can we... If we kill the black goat now, we sacrifice the bee. What happens then? We... We, we bullfrog. Sacrifice that bullfrog. Doesn't really matter. The, the extra things over here, it doesn't matter. It, it's not going to make a difference. Right? I play the bullfrog here, sure. Then I sacrifice the bee to put down the black goat. We have the bullfrog, we have the black goat. We do one damage. Black goat here gets hit. We get a bee next turn. We do two damage. It's just three. There's nothing we can do. And I, I think that we have... I, I, unless my math is just wrong, I could sacrifice the bullfrog next turn, but that also doesn't help us. Sacrificing one damage to do one damage is not going to help us. I I think that that's it, right? It doesn't really change anything. Dang, man. I'm gonna pull out my teeth, I guess. Doesn't do anything. I wish I could... If in this phase it did a damage to the moon instead.
<laughs> no, sir. It seems we're at an impasse. Seems we're at an impasse, my friend, aren't we? You want to offer an olive branch? You want to offer an olive branch to me? Huh? Stinky? I'm not leaving. Stop, draw a card. I can't. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder, man. Who's going to break first? I'm I'm very curious. Is it just go infinite? I I won't allow you to play. I mean, I would love to play a new card. If you would let me, I I would love to. But this is I I guess I thought that this I don't know. Because he, I only, I'm only wondering because he offers an olive branch for every other scenario. Part of me wants to just like pause the the recording and see how high it goes here before he gets angry. So I'm gonna do that. Here we go. I've gotten a couple bone tokens, as you may notice. There's a couple over here. Uh, I thought, mate, I don't know if there's something that's going to happen. I would assume it would happen at this point, but I don't think anything is going to. If I'm going to be honest, I think it's just going to hit 100. Yep. <laughs> and uh, here we are now. Entertain us. Oh, my God. So it's a stalemate. Uh, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna offer an olive branch to Leshy in a way here. Let's um, say uh, this, some say this match is still going on for uh, the rest of eternity. You know, it's, it's Schrodinger's match here. So what I'm going to say is, uh, thank you everybody for watching. This has been Inscription Casey's Mod. We'll be back at it again tomorrow. If you guys are, uh, if you're, if, if you're enjoying the series, make sure you leave a like on the video. Make sure you comment down below. If you'd be sad to see it go, you gotta let me know. Comment down below, all of that jazz. Uh, I'm going to be here in Purgatory for, uh, you know, the rest of eternity. So, it's been nice knowing you guys. Uh, I've enjoyed making videos for you guys every single day, so new here remember to make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh yeah hopefully uh hopefully i'll get out of this hell we'll see you next time uh thank you buddy for watching thank you thank you and i will see you next time bye